hello. If you're new here, hi. My name is Jackie. J-A-C-Q-I-E. Spell the Q, not a K. Very strange, I know, but who doesn't want to be unique in some way or another, right? I'm pretty sure everybody does. Um, so, yeah, today's video, we're going to play with some Bear It All, or Bear, Bear All, these two palettes from W7. Loving me some W7. We check out this Gerard Cosmetics eyeliner along with a beautiful pink lip from Gerard Cosmetics. And yeah, so that is what today's video is about. Um, if you haven't yet, what you waiting for, please feel free to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy beauty related content. Next to that, there's a little bell. Ring the bell and you will become part of the hashtag notification nation. And YouTube should alert you as soon as my videos go up. In the description box, you will also find my social media handles. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You will get a little more of this sassy jacket. All right, before we get into the makeup portion, I have to mention Dossier, a perfume company whom has been working with me. This is not a paid um, thing. They did send me the perfume for free, but they are not paying me to mention them. I am just mentioning them because who doesn't like high-end perfumes? at a affordable cost. Like I'm talking like 29, 49, not no hundred and something dollars. And let me tell you, they have a ton of different scents that are comparable to high-end scents. So we're gonna get started today with the Florian, Florian Tull Coconut. Yes. The notes of the, it comes with, well, there's still, some of them still come with a sample, some not so much. They're kind of phasing out the sample parts, but you can still return it if you do not like the scent um, after you try. But this is beautiful. I mean, come on, guys. This is magnetic, y'all. For real. No joke. Like, I've been setting them up along here. Oh, they're beautiful. But yes, today we're talking Floriental Coconut. And the top notes of this are... <laughs> Words I can't pronounce, fun. Okay, cardamom, C-A-R-D-A-M-O-M. Pistachio, bergamot. The middle notes are Lang Lang. Tuberose, jasmine, and the base notes are cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. And it's this perfume is inspired by Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc et de Perfume. So yes, and it says, our mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore new scents. Thank you for giving us a try. And this, let's smell it. I want to smell it. I love coconut. Whoop. Okay, I seriously just sniffed that up my nose. Ooh. It's, it is like, hmm. I do, it, there is a, like a floral scent, but like that, that, that little sweetness from the coconut, you can smell that too. Ooh, this smells good. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like to put all my samples in my little mirror here and I just like put on whatever I'm feeling that day, you know? But yes, the bottle looks like this. It is beautiful. And like I said, they range from, like they start at $29. I can only imagine how much this Tom Ford perfume goes for. No joke. Tom Ford ain't cheap. With mascara, um, but oh, 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 I love it. Okay, so there is Florian to the coconut. Oh, where do I put this box? I guess I put it on the floor, and the cat's probably gonna come play with it now. Oh my goodness, the battery died. So, okay, so this one is 
Oriental Tobacco. And I'm not gonna lie, it's an interesting one. Looks like this. It is a yellowish color. Magnetic top, just like every other one. Okay, and let's see what, okay, let's put the card up. All right, so let's see. This is inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla uh, Et de Perfume. So another Tom Ford, so you can only imagine how much that one will cost. And um, the top notes are tobacco, ginger, and apricot. The middle notes are honey, vanilla, and cocoa. And the base notes are tonka bean, dry fruits, and blonde woods. If it sounds interesting, it smells interesting. So, okay, I'm scared. I've, I've smelled this one and it's a bit... You smell the tobacco for sure. It's like a cigar lounge kind of smell. Legit, that's what I'm thinking of. Yes, yep, mm -hmm. Okay, so this is an interesting smell. It's interesting. I think this is a unisex. Um, I believe this is also a unisex scent. So like men, women can wear it. I feel like more men would probably enjoy this scent than women. But like, it is definitely interesting. I don't, mm, I don't know how much I'll, I'll enjoy this one just because of that tobacco scent. I don't smoke anymore. <laughs> so. I'm not trying to cover up a tobacco scent with a tobacco scent, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it does, I, you can smell the other notes, like the honey, vanilla, and cocoa, you do get a hint of those, but you definitely smell the tobacco and ginger, like right off. Not so much the apricot though. I didn't really smell a whole lot of apricot, but the tobacco and ginger, bam, first thing you smell when you sniff it. But it smells like a cigar lounge. That's what I'm thinking it smells like. Yeah, definitely. It's interesting. It's not terrible. Definitely not terrible. I mean, it, yeah, no, I don't, I don't hate it. Just isn't going to be one of the ones I reach for that often, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, it is supposed to be a, uh, inspired by Tom Ford, Tobacco, Vanilla, Et de Perfume. Et de Perfume. Oh, ooh, French. Um, but yeah, so that, I had to give those honorable mentions. Dossier. So check them out. They, uh, like I said, they have so many. So, I mean, you see right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I mean, there's so many scents, guys. And they're all, they all smell like high end. And let me tell you just real quick before we, we hop into the makeup. Um, my son likes the fruity orange. So that one he's kind of claimed for himself. And um, I sprayed one of his sweatshirts with it, and his sweatshirt smelled so good all week long. And I sprayed it like on Monday. Come Friday, it still smelled like the perfume, and it smelled so good. And yes, he wore his sweatshirt every day. It was like that time of year when in the morning it's a little cool, so you wear a sweatshirt to school, but then like by the afternoon, your sweatshirt's in your backpack. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Just saying, they they last and they smell great and they are comparable to high end and they are super duper affordable. You're not gonna be paying a hundred and something dollars for no perfumes. We all know Jackie likes affordable things that are just as good, if not better, than high end. So that is all I am about on this channel. So okay, yeah. Yeah, I just want to mention those. And now that you guys are probably sick of my intro. Let's get into the makeup. Okie dokie. So, today, we're doing the bare all exposed and uncovered. We're just going to do them both because, I mean, they're by the same brand. They're the same formula. You know, they're basically all good. And I know that because I've used the deeper one. So, we're just going to do that. My hair is partly dry. Not fully dry, but... I didn't want to dry it anymore. <laughs> All right, so I'm going in with my Bully Beauty eye primer, light always. 
my kitten shadow is being a little pain in the tush as usual it's like he knows that i'm gonna film and he's like oh so we're gonna play now so now right now he's bothering my other cat which is a bad idea because henry is like 12 years old and doesn't take no crap from no one and will kick his tush if he bothers him I don't know if you can hear that. I'm there playing on the t on, well, on the chair under the kitchen table, like right there. <laughs> oh, I have the air off for now so I can film. So I'm a little warm, but it's not supposed to be too warm today. So hopefully I won't get too hot when filming. It's not like 90 like it was the other day. Oh boy. It was toasty. Okay. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm already sweating. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's open them up. Oh, yeah, let's take the tape off and open them up. I haven't even played with these yet. Am I going to be able to take the tape off? Try to keep me out of my makeup. That ain't gonna happen. Mm -mm. Oh no, no. This girl will get in. Alright, there's one. Alright. Yeah. What? You can't keep me out. Mm -mm. And when it comes to makeup, I will find a way. Tools, no tools, I'll get in. Will I? <laughs> Okay, now I'm just having good juice. Now I'm just being... Okay, <laughs> I will get in. <laughs> All right, so this is the exposed, the lightest one. Bootyful. That's gold. For some reason in the camera, it looks more like a green, but it's actually gold. Interesting. And then this is the medium one. Very, very pretty. So we're going to play both. And I'm going to start with, good question, I'm going to start with this shade, and that's going to be in my crease. Whew, toasty. Okay, let's get a creasy brush here. This is a pointed crease eyeshadow brush from Profusion, the ES3. Ooh, ah, oh, I love Profusion brushes. They are so soft. Get him, Henry. Get him. <sighs> oh, cars are going to drive by. Oh, Henry's getting mad. Shadow, you better stop it. Oh, uh oh. We're going to have a cat fight on our hands. Shadow, I'd get down and leave him alone. Shadow. Shadow. You're not going to listen to me. I swear, I thought he knew his name. Now I'm starting to question if he knows his name. Henry is not in the mood for your crap. <laughs> Henry's like, okay, it was fun for five minutes. Now I'm just sick and tired of it. So get out my face. Let me relax. Get him, Henry. Hiss at him. He'll get done. Such a nice transition color. Can you see it? Can you? Yeah, you can see it. I can see it. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. I forgot my coffee over by the couch. Oh, this is not happening. I need that coffee today. I need that coffee every day. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. All right. I need to grab my coffee because I need my coffee. I don't know, is this lighting okay? I hope this lighting is okay. All right, next we're gonna go in way up. I'm gonna go in with a different brush. <laughs> a smaller-ish brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade in the, what is this, Uncovered? Uncovered, the medium one. I'm gonna go in with that shade. 
and that's going to deepen the crease a little bit. <sighs> Shadow, you already broke it. Oh, Lord. Breaking my son's bag. I don't know about this cat. Kittens are tough. <laughs> I haven't had a kitten in a while, so I knew that they were a pain. <clears throat> no offense, but they are. But I forgot how much of a pain they can be. Really. Yeah, Henry's had enough of your crap. Henry's like, peace out, dude. I am not in the mood. All right, so that's pretty. Let's go and blend out with the other, with the transition shade. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, that's gold balls. Ugh. Mm. All right, next we are going to do something. I have an idea. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so on the outer corners, I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade right here. There we go, that shimmer shade. Kind of like a plummy, is it? Maybe just a little bronze, coppery, plum. Mm -hmm. Sure, yep, that's what we're doing. We're gonna tap that right out here. Oh, see, you're getting on Henry's nerves. You better stop. Henry's not going to put up with your crap. He's too old for that. We're going to tap, 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 tap. That right here in the outer corner. Ooh, aww. Much needed. Mm. I don't think I have more wipes other than this. I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna have to get more. Build up my wipe collection again. Oh my gosh, I'm hot. Okay, so there's that. And then in the middle, I'm gonna go in. Oh, that was from the uncovered, by the way, the medium palette. Then I'm going to go into the exposed and I'm going to take that one and put it in the middle. Ooh. That's pretty. I like that. That's a pretty color. Like a mauvey bronze almost. It is pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. What is making that noise? Oh, it's the table. Or something. Don't touch the table. Okay, there's that so far. I like it, I like it. <sighs> Don't do it, Shadow. Stop it. You better go find your toys. Don't get in the cupboards. Do not get in the cupboards. Mm -mm. All right, and then on the inner part, I'm gonna go in with this purple because I don't know why this purple is here, but I just kind of want to play with it. It kind of just sticks out to me and I kind of want to play with it. So I'm gonna put that on the inner portion. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I like that. That's nice.
I do like that. Okay, not bad, not bad. So buttery, smooth. Wow. Wow. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to go in the outer corner and just kind of clean that up with the deep, the crease shade, the darker crease shade, and just kind of just clean up the edges a little bit with that color. All right, I'm gonna go back in with that middle shade just to make sure we didn't lose any of it. Yeah, all right. Pretty. Okay. I like that, that's not bad, that's pretty. Very different, that pop of purple is very cute. Hmm. Cats. Aren't they great? Yeah, you could in the window and annoy me more. Okay, so there is that. Now, we're going to play with an eyeliner that I got in my Gerard Cosmetics PR box. The Eternal Eyeliner. And I'm pretty sure this is just oh, shake before use. It's black. I know it's black. Oh, there's a little shaker thing. get my mirror. All right, let's see just how thin I can get this, this eyeliner. Cat's gonna drive me nuts. All right, so. Not too bad. I got that pretty thin and it's black. Like you don't have to go over it more than once. It's black. Let that dry a little before I curl my lashes. Curl my lashes. Whew. Toasty one. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to curl my lashes, put on mascara, do the rest of my face. When I come back, we will do the under eye and then we will pick a lip to put on, which I don't, I'm hoping one of my new lips will work. We shall see. So I will be back with my face looking much better than this. Okay, my hair is drier and straighter. Yeah, we had to do something about that. All right, so the rest of my face, as you can see, is finished. So we're gonna finish the bottom lash line and then we're gonna pick a lip. And I know what lip I wanna go with. I'm just not 100% sure it's gonna go with this long, but we're gonna, we're gonna see. So, all right, the bottom lash line, I am going to go in with the transition shade right there. Oh my, the brush is a little, a little big for the bottom lash line. If I was smart, I would pinch it, but guess who doesn't isn't smart today? <laughs> this girl. Oh, my face itches now. You ever do your makeup and then like all of a sudden your face is itches? And it's not your makeup. It's just because like your makeup's done. And your face is like, I'm gonna be itchy now. Just in one spot near my nose. Like, please stop. <sighs> Anyways. <clears throat> all right. There's that, and then I'm gonna go into that crease shade that we used 
I'm gonna put that in the outer corner just a little bit just to deepen up the outer corner a little Mind my wide open mouth. Beautiful. So there is that. Put on some mascara, the Ultra Plush W7 mascara, my fave. Okay. And then. I'm going to take the highlight I used today, which was the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in the shade Grace. I'm going to put that in the inner corner and the brow bone. Because I like to do that when I remember. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't always do this because 90% of the time, I forget. Like, I think I'm going to do it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then when it comes down to it, I forget to do it. I'm like, uh. I like it. It looks so much better when I do remember. But 90% of the time, I forget. It's so pretty. Oh, cat's playing with the dog. Okay, so there's that. Now for the lip. Whew, I'm hot from blow drying my hair. <laughs> All right, for the lips, so I'm thinking I wanna go in with Kiss and Tell. This really beautiful pink shade. I don't know if it's gonna go, but we're gonna try. So I'm gonna need a pink lip liner, which is fun. Uh, the only really pink lip liner I have is this Coudillard Stereoscopic Lip Liner. So we're gonna try that. The line lips, and then we will go in with the Kiss and Tell the lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. Oh, that's, that's okay. Okay, hopefully this lip liner matches well enough with Kiss and Tell. Hmm, so excited. Okay. Oh yeah, it does. It matches like perfect. We need to fix those lip lines though. Mm, I love a bright pink lip in the summer, don't you? Oh, we need to fix some lip lines. There we go. I'm going to tap that in a little bit. Probably should have scrub my lips. I don't know why I didn't do that first. All right. Yes, so that does well, it's not perfect, but I I can I can I can get down. I can get down. <laughs> It's pretty. It doesn't go gr perfect with the eye look, but whatever. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, so, this is the final look. Tell me, tell me. What do you think? So, of course, I'm sure you already know, I love W7 shadows. I love them. They are so smooth like they're so easy to blend they're so smooth the shimmers look chunky but they are so soft and buttery like you wouldn't know by looking at them so don't judge a book by its cover i guess so yeah i really do love these and of course i will be using them in future videos i am sure <laughs> So uh, the eyeliner I really like. I did have to reapply it after I curled my lashes because I don't know of a liner that doesn't move when you curl your lashes. I'm sorry, I just don't. I haven't found one yet. So I did have to reapply it after I curled my lashes, but it is black and easy to apply and I like it. And let's see what else. Oh, the lipstick. I love this shade. This is such a beautiful pink shade. It's a bright summery pink. Mm, I love a good bright pink 
lip in the summer. So I love Gerard Cosmetics lippies anyways, lipsticks, lip gloss, lip liners, lip uh, liquid lips. I haven't found one that I don't like yet. <laughs> uh, so yeah. That is it for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. It helps out my channel a lot. Thank you. And uh, yeah, mm, I'm not 100% sure what the future holds, what future videos will be going up. So if you have any ideas, I know you guys want to see that green look. So I will have the green look coming. Um, but um, other than that, if you have any ideas, let me know and we can come up with things together. So I like to film things that you actually want to see. It makes sense, right? My filming stuff my audience would like. It's kind of the whole point. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully uh, we will come up with great ideas for future videos and hopefully you will return to watch my future videos. And yeah, I also hope that you have a wonderful day.